Good morning, JR Aviation. We got a bright and early one today. It is currently, we woke up at 5 a.m. to beat the heat because once again, today we're going flying and that's because Owen's in town. Owen, say what's up. <laughs> what's up? All right, um, Christian, so this is a bittersweet day. First kind of flight with the Cirrus SR20 all done, but it also may be our last. That's right. I did get to go on one kind of break-in flight in the Cirrus out to San Diego. So that was great uh, with our mechanic and getting it really, really solid and potentially ready for sale. Like right when the plane's in like perfect shape, <laughs> the annual is done, it's got fresh, you know, completely overhauled engine, some avionics stuff, interior stuff, like paint. You know, why fix anything up for yourself? You're always doing it for the next person. I feel like that's how it goes. And same with some of our cars. Like once we get them all sorted and nice and ready to be enjoyed, we sell them. But Owen's okay with this sale because Definitely. with the Bonanza, as you guys saw, Owen's happy as a clam with the Bonanza F33 picked up. So Definitely not disappointed with the sale. All right, you know, he's not the biggest Cirrus fan. You know, sometimes in life you gotta make sacrifices. This oh, is a yeah. big sacrifice here. You'll never see Owen in another Cirrus, you know, never. This Only for these guys. Only for us, so this will be a fun one. Yeah, should be a good flight to pace in. The runway is just long enough for our SR20 at a little over 5,000 feet. That's why I woke up so early to beat the heat. So let's go check out the plane for the first time since you guys saw it all torn apart. Let's go see how it looks. It's looking good. All right, and here we are back with the SR20 for the first time, all complete, ready to fly. It's kind of weird seeing it with the cowling on and a propeller because for about six months, it didn't have an engine, but now it is better than ever. This thing is ready to go. Even Owen's a little excited about it. Eh about to load on up the paint looks good okay we got some fuel to get to pacing all right great but not completely full tanks because that'd be a lot of weight check the oil real quick this plane carries up to 56 gallons compared to the bonanza's 120 gallons but it's also a little more fuel efficient that's why it doesn't need as much fuel christian how's the oil 17.5 quarts right where we should be how many quarts did the bonanza have in it what 11 only 11 this has this whole no Okay, eight, seven and a half. Okay, that's a lot different than 17 and a half. Look at that, it's a line and then a seven, a line and then an eight. Yeah, it does look clearly like an 18, but dude, 18 quarts of oil, nothing would have that, you're crazy. Okay, well it's right on the money oil-wise. Oh, you dripped on the nice paint, dang it. Okay, everything else is looking good. All right, we're gonna load up the temperature here. Today it's going to be like a hundred and only i think about 115 today it was 118 yesterday flying the bonanza so uh, we'll be in business so right now it's like 80 something degrees so perfect weather for flying. we're gonna get out of here get to payson and uh maybe go on this plane's last flight it's kind of sad i don't know but it's up for sale and somebody may buy it soon so this could be it this could be the final sr20 flight what a good chapter of the channel but we're moving on to other things like an SR-22 or the Bonanza if we decide to keep it for a bit. Who knows? We'll see. Let's roll. All right, back here I go. About the same room, if not a little more, than the F-33. Both are pretty good back here. Those Lambo doors. Come on, Owen. You don't have these doors on your planes. I don't, but... And you don't have two of them. Not a serious. And you don't have two of them. First right up. That brand new engine's happy to be live. Awesome. And through my Julie's part, runway one, Lindell. Ops are set for takeoff. All right, boys, here we go. Let's All right. Go. Power set. Green. And we're off. This thing flies nice. Oh. Tower, Cirrus 143, Romeo Juliet, just off Glendale, transition to the northeast. Two, 
Paris 143, Romeo Juliet, Duval Tower Transition, Improvement Requested, Duval Timeter 2971. 7 1, transition approved. Your Romeo Juliet, thank you. Okay, Christian uh, and Owen, I think it's time we update the video. So, Christian, what are we doing? We are now southwest bound. Payson Airport is right over there. But as soon as we picked up the AWOS about 10 minutes ago, we listened to their remarks about temperature and the resulting density altitude of the field is a little bit higher than we'd like it to be. Definitely higher than we're gonna be comfortable doing today. Yeah, and it's only getting ho hotter, figure an hour and a half from now and we're ready to leave. Yeah. It's gonna be we, another thousand feet higher. Plus we'll have more weight because we need to fuel up. So, yep. you know, just don't think it's worth it, guys. Yeah, so. that's the altitude they're reporting, 7,900 feet. At seven in the morning. At seven in the morning. And field elevation is? Uh, 5,100. 51, so adding 3,000 feet this plane does not love the heat. We were okay on the cylinder head temperatures, but we had to watch the oil temperature pretty closely because the SR-20 just doesn't do the best in the heat. That's a known thing. It's just not worth the risk at all. So we're turning back and going to Scottsdale instead. We can eat breakfast there. We're not going to have the, oh, I'm hungry, I want to get on the ground. It's not worth the risk, especially with the accident Truckee not too long ago. You know, you don't want to have anything like that ever happen. Yeah, I just don't want to be an NTSB report over breakfast. So, Absolutely. we're turning back. There's the update, you know. Uh, we did say we thought we were going to Basin. We got a great view. We were able to see Bartlett Lake. I mean, it's not all a loss. We, we plan the next trip. Educational video for you if you're a student pilot or a younger pilot like Christian and I. We learned a lot on this trip. And uh, it's an important life lesson to not not push things too close, so we're gonna err on the side of safety and just uh, uh, turn around. And there's a big reason for fuel calculations and buffering extra fuel. Had to make sure we had enough to get back and we'll be good on that, but lots of things to take into account. Lots of learning happened on this flight. I lucked out that I picked the front seat for the first leg because it turned out to be the front seat the whole time. Dang it. All right, so you happy with that decision, Owen? You ready to go? Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely never ever be uh, ashamed or embarrassed to have to scrub a flight whether it's for weather density altitude you know sometimes you just got to say no so yep. good call for sure otherwise the plane is uh, flying great the windows are looking fantastic recently polished i mean this plane will be a really nice plane for either however long we keep it for or the next owner if somebody does buy it as long as they don't live in a climate that's 120 degrees they will be in business because this thing when it's cool outside is a great performing airplane yeah. and uh, we've really enjoyed having it but today it's just not the exact uh, perfect setup for it so back to scottsdale we go there's your update so with our change of plans we were going to update uh, others back in scottsdale that we were headed back and of course there's other times to make a phone call from the air and so owen just informed me that these new a20s that we have have bluetooth to where you can pair it with your phone and talk through your headset. There you go. And these A20s have been, uh, like we mentioned last video, they are just quality product. Thank you so much for helping us out, getting us set up with some nice headsets for our planes, and uh, they've been a treat to use. Absolutely. Now back to Scottsdale. So Tower, Cirrus 143, Romeo, Juliet, just a beam, Pinnacle Peak, out of uh, 3,800 inbound with Alpha. And the Cirrus call, just the numbers one more time, please. Cirrus 143, Romeo, Juliet. Cirrus 143, Romeo, Juliet, Scottsdale Tower, thank you. And your left downwind, runway three. Left downwind, runway three, three, Romeo, Juliet. Cirrus 3, Romeo, Juliet, traffic to follow, 12 o'clock, one mile of a Cessna, 2,500 in the left downwind. All right, look at 3 Romeo Juliet. I had him. Um, Traffic in sight, 3 Romeo Juliet, you still need 3,000. 
And Sierra, two Romeo and Juliet, out to restriction cancel, follow that Cessna, you're going to be number three to the runway. All right, number three behind the Cessna, three Romeo and Juliet. Oh, it feels so weird to be referred to as a Cirrus. Aviator 17, I'll call the base Makes me really me. uncomfortable. <laughs> Get the base, Aviator 17. I'm always making fun of those guys, and now it's me. It's like, oh, gosh. So he's calling our base? Uh, no, I'm here. just going to put myself enough distance between these two guys here. Zero, three, Romeo, Juliet, runway three, quick land. Quick land, runway three, three, Romeo, Juliet. Ups are full. Gear is down, I hope. Full rich. Nice. How do you do it? No matter what plane. That was impressive. Sierra Sierra Romeo Juliet, safe parking. Uh, transient through Romeo Juliet. Sierra Sierra Romeo Juliet, turn left to Alpha 7 if unable, no delay to Alpha 9 and contact ground. Good day. All right, no delay over to ground through Romeo Juliet. Good day. Damage at 824, runway 3, clear for takeoff. Want to put in ground, 21 6 person. Aviator 17, runway 3, clear to land. 21.6. runway 3, Aviator 17. Ground through Romeo Juliet, taxi transient. So, Sierra Romeo Juliet, Roger, taxi transient via Alpha. Alpha to transient, Sierra Romeo Juliet. All right, guys, we just landed at Scottsdale, and uh, we're pulling over to park, and we'll go grab breakfast here. So, we'll get you on the outside, but beautiful landing on runway three at Scottsdale. All right. All right, well, there you guys have it. We made it to Scottsdale Airport, safe and sound, and uh, I think this was the uh, better route. I feel much better being safe here on the ground than eating breakfast in a questionable fate in Payson. Yeah. Not sure if you'd be able to take off from a possibly up to 9,000 foot but density altitude. That is a good point. We would not have been able to enjoy our breakfast, and that's what it's all about when you're doing a $100 breakfast run. We weren't gonna do it. We thought about it for a bit, and just the second we heard that density altitude, we were out of there, because 200 horsepower. The plane itself is good, you know, ready for the next owner probably, or, or us once it cools down, being able to fly it more. We'll see. The engine rebuild is uh, working great, and it was feeling really healthy, but one thing is for sure, we were talking to Owen about this, the Bonanza would have just loved being in pace and at that oh, density yeah. altitude with the turbo normalizer would have eaten that up. Sea level power, baby. Maybe we'll take the Bonanza next time and we will venture to that breakfast place and we'll, we'll go to it a future time. Future trip. Thank you, Owen, for uh, doing this and putting up with your Cirrus flying. I, I know you enjoy your Cirrus so much. He's at home today and then he'll be back a little later when hopefully the interior on the Bonanza is done. Check out Fly with Owen on Instagram. Yeah, what's your next big trip with like Gulf Streams or anything? Yeah, just anything fly so? up and down the California coast, New York. Pretty easy stuff. <laughs> New York, Hawaii, anything international on the horizon? Uh, that's probably coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. Jeez, no, insane. no, always on call. And you're loving loving the Gulf Stream, uh, loving the G4 work. Dude, it's a dream to fly. Oh, wow. yeah. Dream come true. At how old? 22? 22. He's two weeks young, younger than me. All 22. Those hours training paid off in that. Got my type at 21. So. 21 type rated in a Gulfstream. <laughs> Go follow Owen, fly with Owen, and then when the Bonanza's done, we'll be up to probably Montana, flying around Montana with Dude, the Bonanza. I can't wait till that thing's done. It's gonna look <laughs> so good. It's gonna be epic. So stay tuned for that, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching this one. It feels right.